Hello. In this video, we are going to learn how to use PMT or payment function in Power BI. Before we implement this function in Power BI, let's try to understand what this function means with some definitions and also with the help of simple example in Excel. Here we have the definition and the syntax. Calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and constant interest rate. So basically it helps to determine the periodic payment amount on a loan. So if I scroll down a bit here, we have the syntax and it takes five parameter and we have the definition for each of the arguments. The rate that is the interest rate for the loan and per is the number of periods. Present value that is the loan amount here future value, it's optional. And we know in the case of a loan, it's zero. And type, again, it's optional. So it determines whether the payment are due at the end of the period or at the beginning of the period. And return value, the amount of single loan payment. And also we have some remarks here and also some example. Let's use this example and try to calculate or uh, determine the payment function in Excel first and then later go to Power BI. So we have all the information here. Let's say person X borrows a loan of $10,000 from ABC Bank at the rate of 8% per annum. And also we have the terms. So the terms being the monthly payment to be made at the beginning of the month for the next 10 months, okay? So I have all the information here. It has the interest rate, the number of payments, and the loan amount. So now let's try to use the payment function here. So Excel comes with a built-in function called payment and has stated earlier, it takes five arguments or parameters. The first one being the rate. So we have the rate here, 8%, that's the annual. So to calculate monthly, let's divide it by 12. And number of periods or payments, it's 10 and the present value that's a loan amount here that's ten thousand future value i know the future value because once i make all the payments the future value will be zero and the last one is optional let's say we are the payment is due at the beginning of the period so let's take one and then close the parenthesis and hit enter so we have the monthly payment that is one thousand thirty dollars now let's try to do the same thing in Power BI. So here I have the same data. So I have the interest rate, the number of payments and the loan amount. With the help of this information, let's try to calculate the PMT function or payment. So let me click on the table here and select new measure. I'll call this as PMT equal to Function name is PMT, and again, it takes five parameter rate. So the first parameter our argument is rate, selected value, and we have it here, annual interest rate. So as I stated earlier, it's annual interest rate. So I'm gonna divide it by 12. And then the second parameter is number of periods. So I'm gonna use the number of payments. And the third parameter is present value. I'm going to use the loan amount. And then we have the future value. I know it will be zero after, the, after all the payments. And then the type. So we are assuming we are making payment at the beginning of the due date or the period. So it's one, hit enter. So now let me change this to dollar and maybe two decimal places. And now let me bring this to the values here. And now I have the results here. So this is how we calculate or use the PMT or payment function in Excel and also in Power BI. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends or colleagues. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.